online on the internet or Swahili Kiswahili is is the most popular language uh outside of the colonial languages in Africa Now, on set with us tonight to help us understand where the arts and music intersect with Kenyan politics is Grammy-nominated artivist. And I want to emphasize on that artivist, Muzi from Jabali, Africa. You know, you may want to spell for some guys. Yes, we're going to spell that, okay, but so, uh, stay so, tuned, stay so, tuned. So, so, so. Now, Muzi is a singer, producer, and songwriter. But above all, he's a political activist and a champion of democracy and good governance. Now, Muzi's group, Jabali Africa, under the One Tribe Collective Project, recently got nominated for the upcoming 64th Grammy Awards. We will be talking about this in depth later on in the show, so we want you to stay tuned. But Muzi, Karibu Sana. Asante, it's always fun coming back to the One Mic Show. Yes, Karibu Sana, and, and of course, congratulations, you know, Asante. Grammys. This is, this is a big deal. This is your first time in Kilimanjaro as a Grammy nominee. So that means everything changes. <laughs> <laughs> what exactly do you mean by everything changes? We're talking to Kulipa Sasa. I'm to Kulipa. Ama, we can't afford you. The, 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 the same work that you guys are doing here is the kind of work also I got nominated for. Okay. So it's just a different vehicle, but we are still on the same mission. Okay. Yeah. All right. That's great to know. Now, I, I want you to first start by telling us where you've been and what you've been up to for the last two years since the pandemic started. We've been, we, we've seen you, you know, circle back and forth between Kenya and the U.S. Mm -hmm. So please tell us what you've been up to and what you've been doing for that period of time. Uh, first of all, uh, the, uh, before the pandemic, uh, I, we did a kids album. I did a children's album, okay, which was called a Sabu Mojambili. Okay, if you realize, uh, in the even if you look at like uh, in the uh, online on the internet or Swahili, Kiswahili is is the most popular language uh, outside of the colonial languages in Africa. Yes, absolutely. and uh, some, we don't find a lot of content that uh, has the language one of the, the biggest language in Africa, mm -hmm. you know? And uh, we made an album when us guys were touring with the, uh, when we were doing our tours, uh, a kid's tour promoting the album, we realized there's a lot of Swahili content within the elementary schools, the high schools, and the middle schools. Mm -hmm. But uh, when you look at it, when you want your child to learn something in Swahili, what is on, online is basically done by an expatriate who lived in Kenya. In Kenya. Or in Tanzania. Yeah, like uh, yeah, like there's this uh, show that's Akiri, Akiri. Yeah, Akiri and, and me, yes. Yeah, and mm -hmm. you can always tell from the accent, you just know that's a Japanese uh, police, a Japanese that spoke Swahili that lives in Japan, in uh, in Kenya. So anyway, the thing was, we were mainly, our focus was mainly like to celebrate our children mm -hmm. so that they can see the imagery when they are when they're looking at all this content that is, uh, that is uh, produced by Disney World and Disneyland, they can also see their stories. So we just didn't want to be the guys complaining when Akuna Matata is taken by, maybe when 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 Akuna Matata is taken by, um, by, by when by. they do a big when they do a big motion picture film with Akuna Matata, we start complaining. But we realize we also don't produce that. Our kids are not being raised by uh, uh, content that shows their imagery. And it's interesting you bring that up because a lot of Kenyan kids, when they come here for the first time, they are familiar with all these characters. Exactly. It's very, it's very shocking. Yes. And uh, it's, it's, it's a problem. Yeah. When I say it's a problem because we have so many good stories. Mm -hmm. Dora the Explorer is a story about Latin America and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. So we realize like children of color, that is lacking a lot. And that doesn't mean that there's, we, don't have, uh, we don't have entertainers or content People, people, people producing that kind of content. It just happens it doesn't get on the where it's supposed to get. And that's how we came together, 26 black family artists, and created this collective. And uh, we said we have to see this representation, representation and diversity, you know, whereby our kids also can enjoy our content from black family music artists.